Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. And today we have a special guest. Hi, I'm gonna do a cooking guide for all of you out there. Alright, so while I was busy recording videos for boss fights and, um, you know, just kind of grinding through the materials, my middle son has actually forged ahead and uh, did a little bit of sweatiness in terms of cooking as many dishes as possible. So the main thing is um, you can start the event which is um, shown by a blue exclamation mark in Ratley. As you can see here, it's the uh, blue cap that looks like Dewey uh, with a cooking uh, chef's hat. And after you trigger this event, uh, you can go around both Ratley and Actual to look for additional um, chefs or additional, additional uh, blue exclamation marks to uh, speak to. The reason for that is you're going to gather different recipes in order to start cooking with them and then you will unlock further recipes as you get better at the initial recipes that you start. Sounds a little bit confusing, right? However, um, I did record uh, the basic cooking videos and so that way you can see, uh, the, uh, I guess, what chef to make. Because the main thing is you don't actually get to um, choose the materials. It's all predetermined for you. You only have to choose the chef and there are seven different chefs to choose from. I believe it's Amy, Cyrus, Aldo, as well as the four tales of characters. And each of the dishes will have a description of the kind of food or the kind of dish you're preparing. And each of the chefs will also have a description of their kind of abilities, um, specialties, and kind of their tendencies. And so um, if you're just guessing out there, you can actually try to match the personality of the chef to the description of the dish. Okay, so like I said, I only found four recipes um, to start with. So let me know in the comments below if you found additional recipes. Also, a couple of things to note. This video is only meant as an introduction to Cooking 101. Um, as you keep on cooking the same dish over and over again, you'll increase the star level of your dish from one to a maximum of five. And make note, uh, as my middle son says, as you get further along in your mastery of this dish, the description may or may not change and depending if the description change you'll have to use different chefs for example mila is the one that's used in the letter stages because she has some creative powers when cooking and so the basic dishes probably don't need much but at the later stages if it does say to you know kind of experiment with it you might have to use someone like that as well a couple things to also note um, when you are cooking the dishes, and I will show you obviously later on in this video, you can fast forward to that section if you'd like. Even though you may have chosen the right chef for the dish, there is some sort of inherent built-in failure rate. And so uh, don't be discouraged if the chef that I chose didn't work for you the first couple of times. Uh, keep on using it and it will eventually cook the dish for you. Now for those collectors of food out there, uh, bear in mind that you can actually use these items both as a recovery item and it actually recovers your MP and HP straight out like an inn. So if you want more collections, just use the food you have stored in your inventory and then cook the appropriate dish and add them one at a time uh, to your kind of collections that I'll say new of course, just like most food collections. One last thing my son wanted to mention uh, and he didn't want to voice it so I'll pass on the message for you. At the lower levels, the failure rate is a little bit higher. At the higher levels, if you do have the right chef, you should be able to complete the dish uh, repeatedly within one or two tries without much failure rate. So watch for that as well. Of course, uh, if you're running low on inventory in your cooking ingredients, you have a few ways to get them. First of all, run the another dungeon either hard or very hard um, for the uh, obviously the tails up. You can grind the shadow or light for your tails of characters while you're doing that. Or you can do it in the overworld where you can go to the uh, same areas that you unlocked when doing the fire and water sword quests. Bear in mind though that when you go there, uh, the drop rate isn't guaranteed with the mobs. So you may have to stay there a little bit longer to farm for those materials. Once you get good enough to cook the basic dishes, other dishes will unlock. And most of the time, uh, you can actually use the same chef and I'll be uh, showing you that as well. So for example, in the case of curry rice, we used Cyrus right here. And then you can see that we instantly were able to unlock Mapo curry. I'm not sure if 
uh, it unlocks after the first try or a couple of tries. So in my experience, it actually took a couple of tries for some of those dishes. And I'm not sure if it's just I was doing something wrong or just RNG being RNG. Also, there is one a Japanese voice acting skit, which will be the same thing, the white bubble at the bottom right corner. Uh, for each completed dish that you have successfully made. So, um, you know, I will put those up in another video just because it's, you know, fairly long in length. So if you're interested, you can watch it there. Otherwise, happy cooking. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.